What's going on YouTube? Jeff coming at ya. So last time I left you guys off, I was uh, trying to fix the Fox body rad. And to nobody's surprise, I absolutely failed at that. So as you guys remember from the last videos, I tried my vinegar solution, which opened up a whole can of worms. Car was still overheating. I was getting a lot of rust and crud out, but also I was creating a lot of leaks at the time and stuff. Um, split the seams wide open. So then I tried CLR. Um, that still didn't help break up all the crud on, on the fins, on all the cooling fins and stuff. Worked a little bit. I was still draining out rusty, rusty water. So it was doing something. The dollar store CLR does work, but obviously not for a 35 year old crusty rad just wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So I bit the dust, brought it over to a local company here in Calgary to get it. Uh, well, at first I wanted to see if they could tank it, see if that could clean it up. Worst case scenario, rot it where they clean out all the passages and stuff and try and fix all the soldered tanks where I had split the seams open. After 10 minutes of dropping it off at the rad shop, I get a phone call. Hey Jeff, this rad's no good. Everything's plugged. Needs to be record. Sure, why not? Let's go that route. Can't be that much money, right? Uh, they wanted like 100 and some odd bucks for a single core on Rock Auto, but a single core wouldn't cut it. They wanted 200 and some odd bucks for essentially the same rad, which wasn't cutting it to begin with at the local parts stores here. So how much can the rad shop cost to record? 400 and some odd bucks to record a dual core small rad. Yeah, basically told me to get bent. Can't afford it, ain't doing it. And why would I put that much money into a two core rad? It's just not worth it, especially when you got an amazing car like the Fox body. So I did the next best thing. I went to the pick and pull yet again. This is a three core heavy duty rad out of an F-250 camper special. It even has a ports for an oil cooler, which I'm gonna cap off. But basically, this thing is the exact same size as the Fox body rad hoses. Locations are in the exact same spots. My mounting brackets should work. It is a three core copper brass rad. This thing should cool like no other. And this tag right here, like I pulled the rad cap off this thing. Green, 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 beautiful coolant splashed out of this thing. I looked inside once it was drained. Thing looks brand new. Then I seen the tag on it. It had just been recored like not even a year ago from the same people who just quoted me like 400 and some odd bucks to recore mine. So this was 55 bucks. This thing is an absolute score. This thing is gonna perform amazing. So right now what I'm just doing, just doing a little rejuvenation spray. You know, it just brings it right back around, makes it brand new again. So that's where I'm leaving off for right now. Had to ditch on the uh, DIY budget rebuild rad, just wasn't working out. But went to the scrapyard, we got a new rad. Hopefully we should be back on the road here soon. I got a new rad cap for it, thermostat and gasket. And I just got to do some different PVC plumbing stuff and the car should be functional and back on the road for this Friday. Talk to you guys soon. Like, share, subscribe. I'm almost at 100 subscribers now, and you know what that means. I promise you guys I'm going to burn the freaking tires off this thing as soon as I hit that magical number. Have a good night, guys.